Ooh, you guys. We have a mother effing full moon happening in the sign of Leo. So this is big, bold, in your face. As always, don't mother effing skip the first part of this video because you need it in your life. You've been warned, okay? You need it in your life. There's some good shit up in here that we need to talk about. So listen to this first part of the video before you go skipping to your sign. Don't be a cheater, okay? Don't be a cheater. I have to jump on that because some of y'all are just quick, you know, and you don't know unless you hear it. So hello, you filthy animals on the internet. My fabulous, beautiful, spiritual best friends on the internet and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going over the full mother effing moon in Leo. This is big, bold, fabulous, dramatic, liberating, and in your face. So be prepared. We're going to talk about a lot of different things in this video that you need to hear right now, okay? And then we're going to briefly talk about what it means for your rising sign. But that is not even the best part of this video, okay? The best part of this video is when I talk about this full moon because it will relate to you in some area of your life no matter what sign you are. And I have a lot of good shit coming through, okay? About this full moon for you because I'm a Leo rising, okay? So you need, you need my perspective on this full moon, okay? Like it's, it's just, it was meant for me to tell you and that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Leo rising on a hundred today, can't we tell? All right, basically, if you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle. I do a bunch of different shit over here, mainly astrology right now, because I can't ever figure out what the fuck I want to do with my life. Just doing the best we can over here, basically. If you're not new, then hello, welcome back. Say hello down below, I love you. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this Leo full moon video. Okay, you guys, so, so as always, let's start here. What the fuck is a full moon? A full moon is when the moon and the sun are in opposite zodiac signs. They're in opposite signs in the sky and the earth is in the middle, which makes the moon appear full because she is taking in the sun's light and we can see her fully. Because of this reason, the moon lights up the dark night sky. So metaphorically and astrologically speaking, on a full moon, things are revealed, things come to light. We can see the shadows, right? We can see clearly. So a full moon is revealing, it brings realizations, it brings strong intuition, strong intuitive downloads. It brings a sense of seeing what we once maybe could not, okay? Bringing light to the shadows shadows. On top of that though, this particular full moon is really fucking important because around this time of year, the sun has been in its death phase, so to say. It has been traveling through Aquarius, the opposite sign from where this full moon is. Now, because of that, this is in the winter. So the sun is like losing its light, so to say. It is metaphorically dying. Its light is not as strong. It is not as warm out, obviously, because it is winter. The sun does not really like being in Aquarius. It's what we call in detriment in Aquarius because we are in the middle of winter. Around this time of year, when it comes to the Leo full moon, this is a time where the Leo full moon is reflecting the sun's light back at it to say, hey, you're almost out of the darkness. Like we're really almost there. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Don't forget who you are. It is taking the sun's light, the sun's power and reflecting it, mirroring it back to it to remind us who we really are so we don't get lost in the sauce, okay? Because Aquarius is a very social sign. If you didn't see my Aquarius new moon video, go watch that. Um, but Aquarius is a very social sign. It's a very airy sign. It's about other people. People, and the sun is about the individual. So when the sun is in Aquarius, it can get lost in other people. It can get lost in what's good for everybody else. It can get lost in kind of being humbled, so to say, right? So this could be a humbling time for many in some form or another. But this Leo full moon's coming in to remind us of our power, of what we're really truly made of, of who we really fucking are, okay? Like, who are we really? It's coming in to remind us of that. Like, don't lose yourself. Don't get lost. This is who you really are. Don't forget, you're almost through this dark phase. You're almost through this rebirth, basically. Also, the sign of Leo, where this full moon is happening. What is the sign of Leo? The sign of Leo, naturally ruled by the sun, is very much about our character, our character traits, the power of the self, the power of the individual, the power of the life force, the life essence, and how we express that 
through our personality, through our self-expression, basically the power of the personality, okay? So our heart space, what really matters to us, what we really want to commit to fully in terms of what we love, what we desire in our hearts. It's also very much about knowing our divine worth, knowing our sovereignty. And so these are a lot of the big themes that we're gonna be seeing come up with this Leo full moon. If there's been a place where you've been struggling in terms of your self-esteem, in terms of your worth, in terms of you know who you are, in terms of being authentic, in terms of what you love, what you want, what you desire, this full moon is going to remind you, it's gonna be a little wake the fuck up moment of what really is authentic to you and how to embrace and embody your authenticity even when the odds are against you or even when it's unconventional or even when it's weird or even when it's quirky or even when it's different or when even when other people may reject it. So Leo is very much about our individual talents, our individual gifts, knowing and loving ourselves for who we are, loving our personality, loving our essence. But this full moon, because it's revealing something, it is revealing to us a missing piece of who we are, of what we love, of what we haven't been fully embodied in or embracing that is truly a part of who we are authentically. So this is about your personality needs. This is about your self-esteem needs. This is about your self-worth needs. This is about the needs of your heart your heart's desires and where you've been possibly neglecting those because you've been caught up in your social life, other people, other things, whatever you've been caught up in that's kind of distracted you from your sense of worth, your sense of self, your sense of, you know, who you really are and what you really desire, what your heart really longs for. So this full moon is helping us get back to that. Something else that is really fucking big, <laughs> like really fucking big that is happening for this particular full moon is that we have, we have this full moon squaring the planet of Uranus. Now Uranus shakes things up. It's the liberal it's the rebel, it is the genius, it is the quirky curveball, basically. It brings in a sense of turbulence, shakiness, unexpected, unconventional situations or things in our lives. It kind of brings in this weird, turbulent twist, so to say. And it deals with unconventionality. It deals with where we don't quite fit in, but also it wakes us up. It awakens us to something. It enlightens us and it liberates us as well in the same sense. This is a square. So this is a challenging aspect. And so I'm gonna, gonna tell you what this is gonna be about for many people. This looks to me like a test on our personality. It's like testing our character, testing our personality, testing who we are, so to say. And I also feel like it's going to be a time of embracing aspects of who we are, where we're reminded of aspects of who we are as well, possibly taking a risk to embrace and embody those aspects and get really fucking authentic with who we are. And even if it's weird, even if it's different, even if it involves taking a risk to do so in some way, right? Even if it involves staring rejection in the face in some way. So this is really about embracing our differences and being authentic. That is really like the name of the game of this full moon. It's embracing our weirdness. It's owning our authenticity. And it could also be showing us the people in our lives that are not a match to that anymore, that are just not on the same frequency or not on the same wavelength with our authenticity anymore. It's pushing us to embrace who we really are at the core level and what we really want, what we really love, and our desires, even if that causes a sense of instability, discomfort, turbulence, or even if it's unconventional in some way. So also, these are fixed signs. So this isn't necessarily about some big new change that's coming in. This is actually the culmination square of this Uranus cycle. So this is a culminating square, this is a third quarter square, and it's in fixed signs. So if you don't know what the fuck that means, I'm about to explain it, so don't worry. It doesn't mean that it's about some brand new change coming in or some new beginning. It's more about what embracing and realizing what's already there that maybe you forgot. So it's kind of about like coming home to yourself, coming back to your self needs, coming back to the needs of who you are, your personality, your heart, and who you already are, what's already there that you haven't been seeing or that you haven't been realizing, or what's already there that you're not utilizing about yourself and who you are and your personality. And so this could be an awakening to like who we really are again. Like maybe we forgot, you know, or maybe we've been lost or like, 
like whatever like because and i say that because an awakening is not about changing who you are an awakening is not about becoming something else or someone else or something new it's about realizing what was already fucking there to begin with right like when we heal we are not like healing to become a different person like healing is really shedding the different layers that are not you, right? This is not about you doing something to be good enough. This is about realizing that you're already fucking good enough as is, right? Like there's nothing that you need to do to be good enough, right? The only reason that you think you're not good enough is because of old wounds, conditioning, whatever. So it's about really healing the reasons and seeing the reasons why you think you're not good enough and shedding those. And through that, you become your authentic self. So it's really not about some big change or doing something new or trying to be more or do more or whatever. It's actually about realizing that you're already fucking it. An awakening is about realizing what you've been all along. So something else that could really come up with this full moon is we could really be breaking free of limiting belief systems, especially revolving around our self-worth, our personality, certain character traits that we have, things that our heart desires. Like where have you been repressing who you are to fit in or to try to be normal in some way, you know? Like where have you been repressing who you are or parts of who you are uh, because of old wounds or old shit. And another big thing that's also coming through to me for this full moon is that you don't need validation to be you, to do you. Like stop fucking waiting for validation. Stop looking for other people to validate what you're doing to do it, right? Just fucking do it because it's so hot when you just do it and you're not doing it for validation, right? Like when you are just authentically you and you're just fucking doing you, it is so fucking hot. Like you don't need the validation to be you, right? Like we always tend to like look up to people that are just totally fucking authentic and just totally themselves and don't give a fuck. Like they don't give one fuck what people think, right? Like we always tend to like idolize those people and look up to those people because they're just so authentically themselves and that makes them different. That makes them stand out. They're not trying to fit in because that doesn't make them different. That doesn't make them stand out. That doesn't make them unique, right? That doesn't make them special. Like you are special all on your own and all you have to do to stand out and embrace that and and get validation is to be authentically you but don't do it for validation because when you're authentically yourself the right fucking people are attracted to you right the right fucking people are like holy shit i relate to that and that's exactly how i am and oh my god like i see myself in you right like so it's so hot when you're just you and you're not like doing it for some kind of validation or to please other people or to get people to like you or whatever, right? So validation is like another big theme with this full moon. This is like really embracing who the fuck you are, what you what you fucking want, making big bold moves, not being afraid to shake shit up by being you. That is really what this full moon is about. Now for some people this could play out in terms of like kind of having this like identity crisis, like not like super crazy or anything and you could have you could have also noticed themes of whatever comes up with this full moon that came up in November, August, like end of July into August and also end of April into May of 2022 because that's when this whole Uranian sun Uranian cycle started that we're completing right around this full moon. And so, you know, if those times brought up certain things for you, that could be like a culmination of what's happening with this full moon where you're finally getting like this missing piece of who you are and what you need for yourself and what you need for your life and what you need for your heart, what you need to do for you. And that is going to revitalize you, right? Like this is a very like revitalizing full moon you know like this this is bringing the zest the life the the vitality back into us and like holy shit this is who i am again this is what i want i'm so clear now on who i am my authentic self you know all of that it's like it's it's shaking shit up and it's asking you not to be afraid to step into who you really are and to shake shit up. So this could come with like massive like identity realizations and upgrades and like up leveling. It's just like an upgraded version of who we are and it's pushing us to this upgraded version of who we are by releasing us and breaking us free of old limiting 
shit that is not us anymore, right? Like old shit that tells us like, oh, you can't do that or you couldn't do that or that's not normal or that's not cool or you have to act this way or you have to be this way. Like, no, like we are breaking free of all of that with this full moon. Last year around the Leo full moon around this time, I had like this massive upgrade in myself and my identity, like remembering who I am and I had like tons of old aspects of myself really kind of coming to the surface for me to embrace and fully embody and step into. And that led me on this like massive fucking journey, like this massive spiritual journey last year, like realizing so much about who I am and all of that. And so I feel like that's gonna be the case for many people just in different areas of your life. I also feel like this full moon, it, it's just so powerful. Like we have Mercury building to its conjunction with Pluto, which is bringing in this sense of like really owning your power, like on a deep level, like speaking from a place of power, you know, communicating powerful things. Also, we have Venus squaring Mars right around this full moon, which is showing us that like what we want may not make sense and it may have changed and that's okay. Like what we want, what we're going after, what's gonna bring us pleasure, fulfillment, joy, a sense of spiritual alignment. It may not make logical sense and that's okay. And I also feel like this full moon is gonna come with a lot of really major intuitive downloads like and major intuitive downloads a lot of healing for a lot of people and i just i feel like this is really bringing a lot of really big bold energy with it that's going to really shift the game for so many of us this full moon is a breakthrough of like oh that's right this is who i am like how have i been so lost or you know why haven't i been embracing this side of myself or where has this like where have i been you know like what do i need to do to start getting back to my heart's desires getting back to what i really love getting back to like playing more and like being alive and like just feeling the essence and the energy of who i fucking am you know like this full moon is in Leo. Leo's a fire sign. This is about life. This is about like being alive, vitality, like spirit, like, you know, just really feeling the flames of that fire and really feeling like ready to fucking rumble. You know what I mean? And so for some people, this full moon could come with like intense breakthroughs that are a little bit more difficult, you know, like situations may come up where you're like, oh, I thought I was this, or I thought I was going in this direction, but now I'm not, like that's not who I am, you know, because of something that happens. But I feel like for most people, this full moon is going to be very positive and it's going to really shift us in a more authentic and aligned direction for who we are and what we desire, what our heart wants, what our heart craves, like what turns us on in life, right? Like what turns our fucking soul on, right? Like this is, this is about aligning with soul. This is about doing what makes your soul fucking happy, right? So that is what this full moon is about. Let me know down below, comment the word badass if you stayed through all this whole first part of the video and what you got from it. Let me know what you got from it. Let me know if it relates. Let me know if it's helpful. You may have to come back and watch this, okay, over the next few days because I'm doing this video early. The full moon is not until the 5th, so we still have a little bit of time. So come back and watch this if you need to. I love you. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know if you made it this far and let me know what you thought. And we are going to get into the zodiac signs. Leo baby, my fellow Leo risings, this full moon for us is about really, really, really getting back to who the fuck we are, getting back to self, getting back to what's authentic to us, getting really, really clear and realizing a lot about what we truly desire, what our hearts truly desire, and about healing different aspects of who we are, aspects of our personality, aspects of what we want individually, especially in terms of who we are, where we're going in our lives, and what we're embodied in, what we, you know, this could be bringing up our appearance, our style, our bodies, and, you know, our character traits, our personality traits, and what we want for ourselves, who we are in the grand scheme of things and our place in the world, but also what we desire and what we want in terms of relationships with other people, friendships, etc. And then also in terms of our long-term goals, our career and uh, our brand, our public image, uh, our reputation. Like this is about really seeing where you maybe haven't been all the way authentic to who you are 
because of maybe trying to fit in with other people, trying to fit in with relationships, um, worried about how the world will see you or how other people will see you, how you will be perceived, your reputation, etc. So this is about really like a, a time where you're getting back to who you are authentically and it's a massive breakthrough in who we are, what we desire, what we want, and how we can embrace more of the unconventional, weird, or uh, <laughs> different aspects, unique aspects of ourselves, um, and how that can be liberating, and how we can put that out there to the world. Um, maybe take a risk, and maybe you know do something different that that really. Li like liberates us and awakens us to this whole new level of being and embodiment that maybe we were not clear about all the way before. Maybe we forgot about, right? Like this is, you know, the first part of this video, everything I talked about is going to relate to you massively. Um, it's going to relate to you probably as well if you're Leo moon or maybe a Leo sun too. But like, so make sure you go watch that if you haven't already, because I'm a Leo rising. So it's all from my perspective, but yeah, I think that this full moon is a reminder of who the fuck we really are. It's getting back to who we really are, what we really desire, and embracing those unconventional sides of ourselves and being authentic. That's what makes us stand out. That's what makes us different. You know, it's been Aquarius season. So it's been very much about other people, our relationships, where we fit in with other people. And so this is like, hey, by being you, you will attract the right people. You will attract the right crowd. But first, you have to take that leap. You have to take that risk. You have to make that big, bold move and be yourself or go after what you want or do something that's authentic to you, you know, like get back to who you really are. This full moon is shining a massive, massive light. It's giving us hints of who we are. And I've already been feeling it. You know, the moon's not even in Leo yet. And I've already been seeing so much coming up with my Leo rising lately, having so many intuitive downloads and, you know, dreams and just so many different things about like, hey, don't forget, you know, remember who you are. Like this is the light at the end of the tunnel. This is the reminder, the realizations, the revelations that's like, wait, have I been going along with something that's really not authentic to me? Or have I been involved in something that I really don't love or that my soul isn't really turned on by? Like this is about getting back to our soul, getting back to our soul essence, like what we came here to do, who we came here to be, getting back to loving ourselves, our own sense of self-worth and stability and not needing to fit in or not needing other people to like us or not needing validation from other people right? So let me know down below if you're Leo rising and this resonates. I would really, really love to hear your feedback and what you guys are noticing for this full moon as your fellow Leo rising friend on the internet. So um, yeah, and then also if you would like weekly astrology forecast from me, make sure to join my Patreon. You can get that for $5. I go live every Monday and talk about the week ahead and what to expect. You end up knowing about these events um, before these videos come out, plus other events that are going on that I don't get to talk about here on YouTube. So um, yeah, it's like, you know, a chilled, laid back, just all the way real fucking live that I do Monday nights where we just hang out and talk about astrology, the current astrology for the week ahead and what to expect. And it's uncensored, unfiltered, all of that. So definitely go check that out for $5. I also teach astrology on my Patreon for the top membership. And I also still do reading. So you can check all that out down below and we are going to move on to Virgo. So my lovely Virgo darlings, I actually had some things come through for you that I wanted to really write down so I didn't forget for this full moon, but this Leo full moon is happening in your 12th house. So this is really revealing certain habits and patterns and behind the scenes things, subconscious things about you and your personality and what you love, what you desire and your sense of self. It's about breaking free of old patterns and old programming uh, where you may have low self-worth, where you may have low self-esteem, where you may be hiding certain things that are authentic to you or certain things that are unique and different about you that make you special, right? Like this full moon is really shining a light on what needs to be healed in terms of your self-worth, your self-esteem. And it's also breaking you free of old limiting patterns. So this could be a, a pretty big awakening or a pretty big upgrade of what you need to heal or embrace 
to be able to feel authentic, to be able to be in your authentic self, you know, uh, where you need to let go of maybe validation or let go of old limiting patterns and self-sabotaging patterns that tell you that you're not good enough or that you're not worthy enough or that, you know, you can't um, embrace certain aspects of your personality or that you have to hide them in some way, right? And so this is a very healing full moon, but this could be a full moon that really takes you inward, that pulls you back, right? Where you need more rest or you need to kind of focus on you or spend more time alone, things like that. So watch out for those kinds of uh, things for this full moon, Virgo. And um, this could also somehow be tying in with your work life, uh, coworkers, employees, you know, your day-to-day -day routines and health and habits in some way. So those are some things that you can notice as well as a Virgo rising. And um, if you're not already, uh, definitely sign up to my Patreon. I do weekly lives over there where we are uncensored, unfiltered, and talk about the astrology and hang out for the week ahead. It's only $5 a month, and you get that every week. So if you're interested, see that down below. I also still do readings. I am also teaching astrology cur currently, also over on my Patreon for the top tier. So if you are interested, see the description below. Libra Risings, this full moon for you, is happening in your 11th house of friends and your social network your you know friend groups and you know where where you fit in basically like where you fit in in the world the different people that you associate with the different groups that you have kind of shared interests with and so this could be a time that is bringing up a lot in terms of revealing to you your place in the world, revealing to you the people that you connect with, you know, revealing to you different, you know, people around you or acquaintances or even like people online or people in groups or whatever that it may be, you know, like this is revealing different things to you about those things, <laughs> about different people, basically. Um, and it's also revealing to you like what you need to put out there, how you need to be yourself more with these different groups of people or what your heart really wants, what your heart really yearns for, what your heart really desires in terms of your social life, in terms of friends, right? This full moon could bring up some drama though um, <laughs> in terms of other people, in terms of acquaintances, in terms of groups of people, um, you know, different like-minded people in your life so do watch out for that as well it could have something to do with the energetic exchange or even a, a financial exchange um, with the certain people in your life but also about you putting your passions out there in the world and what you receive by doing that like not being afraid to be yourself and put yourself out there into the world right not being afraid to put your talents and what makes you special out there and be your authentic self with other people or in your social life in some way so that is what i'm seeing for you as a libra rising uh, also if you didn't know i have a patreon where i do weekly uncensored astrology live for the week ahead we hang out every week you can get that for five dollars so if you're interested see the description below i also still do readings and i also teach astrology over on patreon as well for the top membership so if you're interested see everything down below scorpio risings this full moon is a really big freaking deal for you it is in your 10th house of your career your long-term goals your future the world and how the world sees you your brand your reputation your public image you know and so this is about your big time, long term goals, what you are building towards, what you want in your life, what you want in the world, the direction you're going in, what you feel you're destined for. And so this full moon is really lighting up this area of your life, these things in your life. And so this could definitely be a time where things are being revealed to you about what your path is to move forward, about what you need to embrace more of to really come into your full potential and come into your full power and authenticity and what your soul desires, what your soul really wants what feels aligned on a soul level for you in terms of your career, your direction in life, your long-term goals, you know, anything that you are moving towards, like what you want for your future, what you want for your life, what you want for your professional life, what you want for your brand. Like all of that is so, so big with this Leo full moon. It could also be a massive breakthrough or a time that is bringing up some shifts in terms of your relationship life too. Uh, in terms of your partnerships, your relationships, what you want in relationships. 
and also your home and family life and your personal life, what's going on at home and your living situation, your roots, etc. So this is a time where it's like you're being called to rise and maybe even go public or go big about what you feel you desire and want and who you feel you are and what feels authentic to you in terms of your career and your long-term goals and et cetera, et cetera. So this could definitely be a time where it's like, are you really being who, who you really are? Like, is there a side of your personality that you're being led to embrace or embody more of that for whatever reason you haven't been you know, because you've been so focused on your personal life or you've been so focused on your family life or you've been feeling a little bit more, um, you know, secluded lately with, you know, the sun moving through your fourth house. So this is a, this is a, a full moon that's really lighting up like, hey, what's your long term potential here? What are you really going after here? Like what direction are you really going here and who do you want to be? in doing that, right? Like, who do you need to be? Like, what do you need to embody? And again, when I say that, it's not about being someone other than yourself. It's about what do you need to release? What do you need to, what kind of breakthroughs do you need to have to em be embodied and the, and the version of you, the parts of you that are authentic and that are going to like, tap you into your full potential, right? Like this is really about your potential, what's possible for you and really embracing that if you're a Scorpio rising. So if you would like more from me, Scorpio, I do have a Patreon. You can get a live that I do weekly on Monday evenings for the week ahead for the astrology for the week ahead where we hang out. It is uncensored. It is chilled. It is unfiltered. So if you would like that, you can get that for $5 a month over on my Patreon. Um, I also teach astrology over there for the top membership on my Patreon. And then I do readings as well, if you would like more from me. And so that is what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. Let me know down below if that resonates. If you didn't watch the first part of this video, go back and watch that because you are missing out. <laughs> as a Scorpio rising, you definitely want to go watch that if you didn't. And we are going to move on to Sagittarius rising. Sag rising. <laughs> this full moon for you is in your ninth house. So this is also very much, I just told Scorpio risings that this full moon was very much about potential, but it's kind of similar for you as a Sag rising. It's showing you your potential in terms of what you're really capable of in terms of knowledge, in terms of faith, in terms of your beliefs, in terms of what you feel is your path in life, right? What you believe is your path in life and how you can embrace more of that. Do you want to, you know, go back to school? Do you want to take a course? Do you want to go on a you know, learning adventure, adventure, you know, do you want to uh, gain more experience in something that's going to really like make you feel like, holy shit, like this is what my soul came here to fucking do, you know, like, do you want to travel, you know, like this full moon is kind of lighting up areas that maybe have felt like a little bit stagnant or dormant for a little bit where it's like showing you like, hey, you're worth more, you can do more, you can discover more, like you can roam the unknown, you know, <laughs> very sad, sad rising kind of thing. Um, and yeah, like it's, it's, very, it's like a very inspirational full moon that's showing you what's possible, that's showing you what out there is still possible for you that maybe you have been neglecting or not really looking at, you know? And it's also squaring Uranus, which is in your sixth house of work, health, and your day-to-day -day routines and habits. So this could be breaking free of habits that are holding you back from your potential, from your worth, from, you know, ex exploration and adventure and like learning the things you want to learn and stepping into your full potential and what you need to do to do that, the things that you need to believe, the, the faith that you need to have to be able to do that. And so this is like a very, um, this full moon is like a, a very, not like dreamy, but like faith-based full moon. It's like just really bringing in like what's possible for you. It's like bringing in all the possibilities, you know, and it's breaking you free of old stagnancy that's been like really holding you back in terms of, you know, maybe you didn't feel like something was possible because you've been drained or because, you know, you've been so focused on your day-to-day -day life and your day-to-day -day environment. And it's like, hey, um, more is possible, you know, like maybe you want to upgrade in your job. Maybe you want to up level in your job, but it's like 
you've been stuck on like, how do I do that? This full moon is revealing that like, hey, there's this course or hey, there's this teacher or hey, there's this mentor or whatever, right? So that is what I'm seeing for you as a Sag rising for this full moon. And let me know down below if it resonated. And if you didn't watch the beginning of this video, go do that. If you would like more from me, I do have a Patreon that is linked down below. I also do readings. So make sure to check that out. And we're going to move on to Capricorn. Capricorn risings, this full moon for you is happening in your eighth house of shared resources and finances, investments, business, very much about building wealth and your finances. And so, and you know, energetic exchanges with other people, other people, companies or institutions that are involved with you financially in some way. And so this full moon could definitely be shedding a light on these things and showing you where you need to step into your power, where you need to step into your authority, where you need to step into something that feels more authentic to you in terms of your financial situations at the moment, right? Like um, this is about really figuring out what you actually want and what feels like aligned with you in terms of your financial situations. And so it could be revealing a lot to you about these different things. Um, because, you know, it's also going to be squaring Uranus, which is bringing in this kind of curveball breakthrough energy, this kind of turbulent energy, which is in your fifth house of like fun, love, romance, things that you do for joy, children. And so this full moon could definitely bring up some of those topics too, where you are seeing like, what your heart truly wants, like what you truly desire long term in terms of finances and financial stability and having some kind of authority over your life regarding your financial situation and how to like also find pleasure and find fun in that, you know, like so this could be a financial venture that you are going on, you know, or that you are uh, focused on in some way. Um, that's going to, you know, like help you bring more pleasure, more fun, you know, into your life in some way or that you're really excited about. Um, so something like that could like come up with this, but definitely let me know down below Capricorn where you're seeing these themes play out in your life. And if you didn't watch the beginning of this video, definitely go do that because you're missing out. And, uh, also I have a Patreon down below. So if you'd like to get more content from me and like, you know, hang out with me live weekly and, you know, get other stuff from me, see my Patreon. I also do readings. Um, all of that is linked down below. So Aquarius risings, this Leo full moon for you is in your seventh house of relationships, partnerships, commitments. So this is a time that this full moon's like shining a light and really revealing something in terms of the close relationships in your life, the close connections in your life and what feels authentic and what doesn't, right? What your heart really desires and wants, where you want to embrace more of, you know, maybe who you are in relationships or you want more authentic relationships or you want more fun and play and zest and vitality and life in your relationships versus, you know, where you may be kind of holding back or focusing on you or, you know, like this is also very much about embracing what makes you special with and around other people, right? Embracing your differences, being authentic, right? And not being scared to be weird and not being scared to embrace like your, your quirks as like what makes you special, right? I really feel like that's what's going to, what this is likely going to have to do with for you as an Aquarius rising, especially in terms of your relationships with other people. So this full moon is kind of like revealing to you something about your relationships with other people, something about your connections and where you need to embrace more of who you really are and be more authentic and step into your power, step into your sovereignty and own your fucking differences, like own your fucking quirks, like own the things that make you different. That's what makes you fucking special. Like it does like it, you don't have to be the oddball outcast weirdo um, and look at yourself like that. Like you can be the special sovereign fucking weirdo that doesn't give a fuck what people think, you know, like that is what you can be. Um, so this could also bring up, you know, certain traits of like um, insecurity or validation in your relationships as well, or like self-worth things that need to be healed in terms of your relationships with other people. So that could also be something that you notice with this full moon. But um, other than that, it's also bringing up breakthroughs likely from your personal life, your home life, your family life. Um, so that could somehow get tied into this, you know, where something, there's this kind of breakthrough, like maybe you've been keeping something private, but you're like, you know what, screw it. Like, I'm just, 
I'm just letting it all out or I'm just going to be me. Like, I'm not going to hide this anymore. or I'm not going to, you know, like isolate myself anymore or whatever the case may be. Right. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius Risings. If you would like more content from me, I do have a Patreon. You can sign up down below for a super low monthly price. And then also I still do readings if you are interested. Alrighty, Pisces. So this Leo full moon for you is happening in your sixth house of your habits, your day-to-day -day routines, your work life, your work environment, the task that you complete and do on a day-to-day -day basis, co-workers, things like that. So this full moon is really highlighting this area. Where do you need to embrace more of your authentic self and more of who you are, more of what your heart wants, more of what your soul wants in terms of these areas of life, work, your day-to-day -day routines, your health, your habits, right? So this could be revealing like certain habits that you have that are eating away at like your self-esteem or eating away at your self-worth, you know, especially in terms of health, especially in terms of work, where you need to embrace this authentic part of who you are, you know, um, and you need to maybe breakthrough like this could be like a breakthrough of like you know what i'm no longer gonna keep telling myself i'm not good enough for this or i'm no longer gonna keep relying on other people to validate me you know at work so much or i'm no longer going to you know do this thing that's just not authentic to who i really am it's just not who i really am anymore right so you've been really working on releasing old patterns with the sun moving through your 12th you know you may have felt more isolated so this leo full moon is kind of like bringing in more life and and kind of taking you out of the shadows a little bit more right like it's like okay wait like i have this whole other part of my life over here that i've been like maybe neglecting that's like really authentic to me that I want to get back involved with, right? And so that is really what you could notice as a uh, Pisces rising. This could come with uh, a lot of realizations, a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of epiphanies, um, and a lot of shifts in terms of the people, environments, places, and things that you're surrounding yourself with, that you're interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis. So watch out for that too. So if you'd like more from me, Pisces, uh, make sure to see the description below. And also, if you didn't watch the first part of this video, go back and do that because you are missing out, honey. And we are going to move on to Aries. Aries rising. This full moon for you is happening in your fifth house of romance, fun, pleasure, play, you know, children, <laughs> sexuality. So this is a full moon that really could be bringing up those things. It's bringing in this sense of like energy and life um, and vitality. Um, back into your world. It's like, wait, hold on. I forgot. Like, this is what I love to do, or this is who I really am, or this is what feels authentic to me. This is what lights my heart on fire. This is what lights my soul on fire. You know, like it's reminding you of what you really love, your passions, your heart's desires, um, what feels fun and exciting and authentic to you. Okay. And how that feeds you, how that feeds your soul, like on a soul level, you know, and um, where you need to embrace more of those things and not be afraid to shine a spotlight on them, right? Not be afraid that it makes you different or worried about fitting in so much or worried about what other people are going to think so much, right? And somehow this could be causing some kind of shakeup or breakthrough in terms of your finances as well, your income, your resources, your sense of value, your sense of self-worth. Um, so that could be coming in here as well with this full moon and with some of these other themes that you could be noticing for this full moon. So I really, really like this for you though, Aries. I feel like this full moon is shedding light. It's like revealing this other piece of the puzzle of where you can embrace this like more fun, flirty, um, childlike side of you a little bit more. <clears throat> and it could also be kind of revealing something to do, revealing something about your self-worth or self-esteem, things um, revealing things about, you know, your dating life or children or your sexuality as well could be coming up with this too. So let me know down below if any of that resonates, Aries. I'd love to know as always. And also don't forget that if you would like more from me, I do have a Patreon. It's always linked down below and I do do readings still. So make sure to check that out if you're interested. And if you didn't watch the first part of this video, go back and do that because you're missing out. Alrighty, Taurus, this Leo full moon for you is happening in your fourth house of home, family, your personal life, what's going on in your living situation, your roots, things like this. So this full moon could be bringing up those areas of life 
a lot. <laughs> this could be a massive focus on those areas of life, but also um, in terms of what you want out of your life, your career, your professional life, where you're headed in life, where you're going in life, all of those types of things. And so this is a time where this full moon is really shedding a lot of light and revealing something to you in terms of what you really feel is authentic to you in terms of your family, in terms of your home life, in terms of your living situation, and what you really want there. How to step into your sovereignty and your power there, okay? Or certain aspects of yourself, aspects of your childhood that maybe have been repressed or denied okay, due to certain events or certain situations in your life. And so this woman is a pretty big deal for you, Taurus. Um, it is a massive breakthrough because it's squaring Uranus in your sign. So it's really bringing in this level of turbulence and shifts and shakeups and upgrades um, in terms of who you are and what you want for your life, what you want for your living situation and versus what you want long term for your career, your professional life, your goals, your long term goals and plus who you are and how to embrace these different sides of your life, these different areas of your life in an authentic way that feels good for you, right? So this is a time you know, like where you are really seeing how to uh, bring more of what you hide about yourself out to the open, reveal more of what you may hide, right? And kind of shine, like this full moon's kind of like shining a light on that. Like, hey, you've been repressing this, or you've been, you know, looking for validation here with family or in your personal life, or you've been, you know, feeling insecure about this and you need to embrace these parts of you more, like instead of hiding them so much. So that is really what I'm seeing for you, Taurus, for this full moon. Let me know down below if this resonated. And then also, if you didn't watch the first part of this video, you definitely want to go do that. Here is your reminder, so don't say I didn't warn you. And then also, if you would like more from me, my Patreon is linked down below, and I do readings. So we are going to move on to Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, this full moon for you is happening in your third house. So this is a very like creative and inspirational full moon for you. It's really bringing in the vibes of like learning and getting out and having fun, maybe going to some kind of like event in your local environment or with people around you or somewhere near you, you know, like this full moon is really about getting out and about doing different things. It's shining a light on your day to day, you know, people, places and things that you interact with, but also your creative ideas, your creative pursuits, the things that you're working on on like a day to day basis, the different tasks that you're doing, sharing your opinion, putting yourself out there, you know, getting very authentic in the way that you communicate, getting very authentic in the way that you're showing up in your life on a day to day basis and and how you're coming across, you know, Again, like I said, this could be a very creative and inspirational um, full moon too. It's kind of like showing you what's going on around you or revealing different things about what's going on around you that can really inspire you or shake things up in your life a little bit and give you a sense of inspiration, more inspiration, you know? Um, it's also kind of awakening you to some extent of like maybe things that you haven't been seeing, things like old habits and things like that that have been kind of maybe stifling your creative flow in some way, you know? And so this is going to be a very interesting one for you, Gemini. I'm really curious to see how it's going to turn out for you. So let me know down below um, how you're feeling it and if any of this resonates as always. And if you didn't watch the first part of this video, you definitely want to make sure that you go do that uh, because you're missing out if you don't. And um, also, if you would like more from me, I do have a Patreon. It's linked down below and I do readings. And with that being said, we are going to move on to Cancer. So last but not least cancer darlings this full moon for you is in your second house of your money income and resources so this is revealing something to you about your money income and resources but also your self-worth your values your self-esteem you know do you need to set higher standards for yourself in terms of your finances somehow in terms of your money somehow is the way that you're making money authentic to you does it feel good is it fun <laughs> you know like it like what are you valuing what are your priorities right now and are they really authentic to you do they set your soul on fire you know like not in a bad way but in a good way you know what i mean like do they set your heart on fire is it what your heart really values is it what your heart really desires is it what your heart really wants you know and so this is shedding light about on your potential 
financially, okay? And it's bringing in certain breakthroughs, certain epiphanies, certain intuitive insights on your values, your priorities, and your money, right? And so on top of that, it's squaring Uranus in your 11th house of other people, friend groups, different social networks that you're a part of or that you are involved with. And so this could also be um, taking a risk in terms of groups or in terms of other people to do something that is maybe different or conventional or outside of your normal comfort zone, but that does feel authentic to you or embrace a part of you that is authentic to you that is gonna help you make more money in some way, right? Like doing something by owning your potential and owning who you are, even if it's different, even if it's risky, that could could help you make money or attract more people or um, kind of, you know, shift the energy of, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? <laughs> um, in some way, this could be like a, like you're doing something unconventional um, and you are owning different parts of yourself, but it could be unconventional to others. And so that's how you're kind of like taking a risk, but you're owning that, you're embodying that, and you're like stepping into that, right? That's kind of another way I could see this full moon going for a lot of you. So let me know down below, Cancer, if any of that sounds accurate and um, what you are noticing coming up for this full moon. I would really, really love to hear your feedback. And um, as always, uh, check out my description below if you would like more from me. And if you didn't watch the first part of this video, go back and do that because you're missing out. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.